Hey guys, welcome in to John Sims TV at, on uh, TwitchTV.com. Okay, so what I want guys, what I want to do today is give you a video on the FIFA 20 skill moves tutorial. I know it's a few months in, but uh, I didn't want to give you just a ton of content and uh, just giving you right at the beginning. What I want to do is give you good content, when to utilize this, and and how to do it. Um, so much more the utilization than how to do it. Because I feel like you guys should be inclined with how to play right now. So, and if you don't, there's so many, there's so much uh, content out there to be able to show you how to do it. But what I want to give you is higher level thinking of when to utilize it because it's more valuable to know when to utilize it than how to do it because there's so much more content. It's higher level thinking. But, anyways, what I want to get into is the first of these, which are the FIFA. 20 skill moves this is from us gamer um that we're pulling this out so the first thing we're going to do is the flare roulette um you use the l1 button you rotate down to up 180 he does like a little spin just in in like a in a 360 zero turn zero point turn essentially um and that's really utilizing uh tactical defending so when players are breaking down to a jockey stance and they're kind of moving around okay so the next one is going to be lateral heel to heel lateral heel to heel is really effective uh when you have first of all a three-star skiller which is almost every player that you can do you can do this with uh gamero it doesn't matter um as long as they're a three-star three or a three-star skill you can do this lateral heel to heel from left to right and what this does is let's say you're running down on the let's say you're setting you want you want to set up a far post shot or a near post shot. What you'll do is you'll heal the heel. And what that first does is it helps break that uh, that tactical defender down, thinking that you're going one way. So it actually opens up some space for your for your for the release. So it's a one two combo. So it goes lateral it goes heel to heel and then you're setting up your shot instead of doing that little push shot you know the, the new push shot out with their r1 stick that were that uh it's been utilized in some um i haven't found it very effective so uh uh now you can just curl that ball in after you do that lateral heel to heel inside the box that's when i say utilize that um it can be uh it can be effective uh dribbling moves However, I utilize it more for changing the position of the ball. There's so many other, uh, I think, effective dribble moves. Uh, it does stay tight within the player, which I think it's all about consistency this year. It's all about consistency because chained movement is makes things a little bit varied. Um, however, it the lateral heel to heel I have seen be very effective uh, inside the box finishing finishing strong. You'll see a lot of pros use that in the box. It's a little little skill that can take you from scoring a goal to not, you know? So uh, just setting up that inch of space and you're like, and those are that's the type of move that you think, how do I get better? What do I need to do to improve my consistency inside the box? Lateral heel to heel. All right, moving on to drag backs on Brett. I'll show all you guys these in, uh, in gameplay here in, in uh, two seconds. Just let me get through all these. Drag back sombrero. So what the drag back sombrero is, um, it's it's fun, it's cool. Um, there's not a lot of instances that you can use this. There's only two th times I think I believe they can use this, and I actually believe the rainbow is more effective than the sombrero flick on one of these. The sombrero flick, what it does is you're just pulling the ball and then you're flicking it up. Um. All, all it can do is set up. I'm sorry, guys. It's all it can do is really set up a volley, or uh, try to beat your opponent. Um, there's not a lot of use for it. It looks really good though if you're trying to be really cool and and get some highlight videos and, and whatnot and show your friends what and that stuff. Drag by sombrero is pretty sick. But uh, I believe uh, when the defender's approaching you is when you want to drag back, and then he keeps approaching and you flick, and then you can run around him. Um, pretty easy. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's, uh, it's one of those things that's like, is it very effective? No, but does it look really cool? Yes. And that's why it's in the game. But, uh, the next one's the body faint exit. Pretty simple. Um, these are the guys, 
I'm not going to lie. The body feints, the one, two, three-star skill moves are more effective than the four, five-star skills this year because they're more consistent. It gets your opponent thinking. You want to be ahead of your opponent. And the more chances that you have to try to trick your opponent, the more opportunities you're getting that goal. Body feint exit. You lean one way. You exit the other way. Very simple. It can be very effective in those tiny, tiny quarter uh, scenarios inside the box. Uh, that's a great tool. You rotate the right stick from left to right. You just go whoop, and then you exit out the other. Or you can exit. You can exit and keep going. The thing about that is it gives you opportunity and time to analyze where they're moving and then then attack. So that's a really good one. Heel chop turn. So the heel chop turn is kind of like that. It's kind of like a Ronaldo. Um, basically, you hold down the L2, then you fake shot uh, the right stick in the opposite direction. And it's 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 just a cut move. So let's say you're running at full pace. Cut. You cut in, and then you can you can curl the ball. And it's, it's great for uh, far post shots. Or actually, uh, it's really good for when you're sprinting at full pace and you're against a left back. And you need to cut in or or uh, try to fake, or you can cut out and then fake in, um, breaking your opponent. A lot of people have been trying to defend the far post all season. I think the the weak post is the the the, the yeah the sh the short post is um, uh, the near post. Sorry guys, the near post is more effective right now because so many people are defending. The far post and defense is overpowered this season. So guess what you do? You fake the far. You come in. You hit the near. That's the, I mean that's what just that's just what I suggest doing because the far post um, can be difficult getting a shot off um, against a high rated defender. Um, however, if you're Blaine in Division Eight, near post, far post all day. Let me tell you, nobody's gonna be able to cut that off. Uh, drag to drag. Moving on, guys. Uh, drag to drag. So the drag to drag is when uh, you 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 pull the ball back and then it goes from your left to your right, your left to your right, and just kind of go boom, 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 boom. Um, what that is really good. It's the same. I believe if you use the drag to drag or the flare roulette, it kind of does the same thing. It just gives your it gives you time to uh, kind of not only hold the ball but it gives like an animation to where it gives you time to think and the opponent's trying to see which way you're going and you are honestly not moving so if he moves to the left you go right if he moves to the right you go left you know that is what uh the drag drag it's pretty effective so let me go through these guys all right the flare roulette um i like to say the flare roulette is great to do it's great to do when you're running down here and then you you pause right here and then you go whoop or whoop you go like that that's the flare roulette all right so what happens is this is this is how you should do it you should be running down the flank pause and then flare roulette boom so guess what happens he thinks he may think so you he may think that you're going or you can body faint. It's not doing it right now. Um, I'm not holding down L1. What am I doing? God dang. What in the world? See, boom. Uh, the only you'll do is you'll... Gosh darn. Why is it... I think you have to be moving, don't you? What? Why is it just doing body things? Down to up... Oh, you have to be directly behind it. Directly behind it, okay? You have to be directly behind it and then rotate up. So you'll you'll what you'll do is you'll run down the you'll run down the, the sideline right here. You'll hit this, right? Then uh that's a fake shot, guys. Circle A, circle X, circle X. Um, and then you hold down L1, you rotate up. So then uh, with that combo, he could be going, he could be trying to defend you out on the, out here, right? So you, you'll end up cutting in and then it gives you some space, time, and then you can just throw a pass right there. Boom. Hit, hit your Leywin Dallasy coming in trailing because he's slow. You can do it on the opposite side as well. You come down this way, boom, cut in, pass it out. Um, that is a flare roulette. Very simple, guys. It's very simple. Uh, 
you can even you can do a midfield right here and then pass the ball you know what i mean or you can you can you i think it's most effective on the corners because that's when that's when uh the ai defense is breaking down right when you get into the box the ai defense changes their their brain changes inside the box it's it's in the fifa pitch notes it's in the pitch notes um the lateral heel to heel so you're right here right you're right here and then we go boom boom we go boom boom right that sets you up opposite opposite foot so you can get a better angle uh vincent jr is terrible at shooting but um or i'm terrible at shooting either one but uh you can do it on the opposite side too go near post right uh that's i mean to make it simple that's <laughs> i just hit the post again i'm not even paying attention to it uh but basically you can come in cut ooh, set it up set it up for the opposite foot um it can be sometimes more efficient to not not use the heel to heel um what i think is it's when it's efficient is when you have a defender in front of you okay so if you're running straight at him you might as well just ball roll okay you might as well just ball roll when uh you have a defender when there's no defender in front of you but if you have a defender in front of you you see how he, see how he does that initial let me show you see how he initially the animation initially puts his body to the left and then he cuts right you see how i'm saying so the reason why that's effective is because when you're defending and you're holding down l2 you're trying to break down and analyze where this guy's coming from right so what you want to do is instead of uh instead of just uh doing a ball roll and he's gonna be able to break that down i mean you can do a couple things you know what i mean there's just different combos but the the thing about it is you want to be able to create a fake and so if you just do a simple and you just master if you can just master a lateral heel to heel inside the box when uh you got an opponent in front of you you can set yourself up with the shot and then um heck you can do you can do the lateral heel to heel come in and uh i mean you can just mess with them you can just mess with them so it's all that you know combo configurations if you're play, if you really get Super Smash Bros, you understand about combos. You know, it's the, the, the you know the Mario cape, and then you, then you do the the jump, and then you hit them, and then you, you know you do like four different combos. It's the same thing, guys. It's a video game, but the thing about it is, all you have to do is make the guy go one way. That's it. That's it. You just make him go one way that you're not going, and then you have an opportunity. That's that's the idea. However, you know you have to analyze the different variables of other players interacting with you. That's about it. Okay, that is the lateral heel to heel. So the drag back sombrero, the it's it looks great, guys. It looks great. So, so it's um, so to do a drag back, all you have to do is R one and you pull down that left thumbstick, right, and then do the flick. You pop it up. It's really cool. I think it's really cool. It's uh, it can be challenging to do though. It doesn't always work for me. But it, it's it can it can set you up for a volley. Um, however, uh, it's not very effective. But when let's say a player is approaching you, coming at you really hard, you drag back and you flick it over him. Okay, it's uh it's not bad. Boom, he's coming at you on the left. Instead of instead, of, whoop, you're like whoop, and you just want to look good. It's a look good. It's a look good skill move. So I wouldn't utilize it very often in the game, but uh. It's a feel good. You're up three goals. You've got you've got your Ibrahimovic, your scream Ibrahimovic, right outside the box, and you're like, oh, let's do it. Let's just volley it in. All right, uh, body faint exit three stars. Okay, so any three star skill can do this. So these are body faints, right? Body faint left, right. It's all about moving your opponent. So you could be in the box, boom, shimmy that way, boom, cut, cut, you know turn you know, you know what i mean like the idea is the idea is to try to move your opponent as much as possible and so body faint exit you can exit with body faints you know what i mean like just doing little skill moves to cut so like keep just keep moving your opponent so like uh you know here's the thing move them left you go right move them left you you know what I mean? You go right. You, you move him right. You go left. You know that that's that's it. 
it's it's pretty simple guys it's just uh it's just time timing it's just all about timing 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 and, and understanding how to do it i mean it's just my issue is guys i know all these i know all these mechanics i know all these moves but i don't utilize it half the time but if i were to utilize it sometimes i got i mean fifa 19 messed up everybody up fifa 19 messed everybody up because all you want to do is just go as hard as you can balls to the walls just let's just fly the ball down the court down the pitch and you're going out of fast pa passes everywhere it felt like fifa 10 everything's just so accurate boom outside the corner shot just back of the net you're doing bicycle kicks everything that's ridiculous about any video game that could ever be a video game happened in fifa 19 now you come back to fifa 20 it's totally different it's all about the little moves it's about the skill it's about your thinking it's about those little tiny positioning and so these body feints can be very effective very effective especially when you're moving right there boom you know what i mean um it can be very effective so um then we are going to move on to the heel chop turn the heel chop turn uh so what that is l2 fake in the option direction um boom heel chop turn heel chop turn i actually utilize this a lot guys this is a very effective move because it's a uh, it's very similar it's very similar to another uh, highly used uh, utilized uh, skill move that I use, um, which is oh my gosh, I hate when I accidentally do that. Um, I actually barely missed the A button. So what in the world? You did it twice. So you see that move where it's coming back? It's it's very similar except for it's just at an angle. So the heel chop turn is the most effective though on the wings. So you're coming down the wings, coming down the wings, coming down the wings, and you want you want to cut in. Oh my gosh, why did it do it? <laughs> he gets five star skiller sometimes, man. Boom, heel chop. You set yourself up for the you set yourself up for that far post shot. Um, you can cut in too. You can cut or you can cut the other way. Boom, cut in. Get yourself. You know what I mean. So the the heel chop turns more of a high speed, high speed, high speed, high speed and finish, high speed and finish. Um, it's it's when your opponent's pretty much on his feet. You're playing an Alessandro Nesta. Doesn't have a great uh, agility rating. Um, that's when I'd suggest using it. Uh, you're playing a Virgil Van Dyke. He's fast, but he feels a little bit sluggish when he breaks down. So yeah, that's that's why I utilize it, guys. That's when I utilize it. Um, I'm just gonna. Just ram it out. Uh, drag to drag, guys. The drag to drag. So the drag to drag. Um, let's see here. L2 fake shot. And then let go of uh, right stick. Man, I just had I just had it mastered. There it goes. Yep. So that's the drag to drag, guys. Why does it do this? Uh, guys, even I mess up. Even, 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 uh, even I mess up. So, boom. And... Again, this is very similar. I said it earlier. This is very similar. Very, very, very similar to the flare roulette. Boom. It just, it gives, it gives you time to think. And it creates an animation to the opponent doesn't know which way you're going. Because if you keep doing this, if you keep doing this, uh, what happens is, keep doing this, they'll move the player out of position. They'll move the player out of position. So then you're you set yourself up. All you want to do is keep keeping them think, keeping them think. You can do it two or three times in a row. And uh it'll end up working for you. But guys, that is gonna be the video on uh the skill moves of FIFA 20. I hope I hope you enjoyed it. Uh let me show you these again before we go. But if you enjoyed the content, you like to subscribe, feel free to hit that subscription button guys feel free to hop into the stream we're going to view most of my content ask me questions engage with me i'm on almost every single day from 9 a.m phoenix time till about roughly uh about five uh, I, I don't like to do anything underneath four hour streams five hour streams so i'm on almost every day feel free to pop by the stream and say what's up uh if you like the content feel free to share it subscribe like 
But that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for coming in. And you guys have yourself a beautiful day. Woo. <laughs>